In today's video, I kind of wanted to have a talking head about what's going on with Helium, just because Helium has been a project that I've been invested in from, I don't know, a year, year and a half or so. And because it was one of the miners in which I was making a pretty, pretty good amount um, every few days, I thought, you know, why not talk about this big migration that's going on with it migrating over to Solana? So what I've got here is the article from the Helium Foundation on what's going on. Now, just so I can be transparent about how much Helium I have and how many miners, this is how much Helium HNT I currently have. And I have 24 hotspots, but one of them is, is dead. I've uh, sold it off and, um, you know, it's just not working. I can't get it out of my wallet. So, and you can see how much I'm making. And, and again, this is HNT, how much I've made in the 24 hours, April, March. This lifetime is off because I've had multiple miners that I've sold off to friends and family and bought new miners. And so anyway, this lifetime is a little off because um, I did have a lot of the OG hotspots. Whereas today I have some of the, the newer hotspots that I got, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. But anyway, back to the article. Here's what to expect. Today's the day after months of planning, development, and coordination, the Helium Network will commence migration to Solana mainnet starting at 9 a.m. Pacific. It's 9.28, so it's been going on for about 30 minutes. Tomorrow, when the migration is completed, marks the start of a new era for the Helium Network with massively upgraded scalability, reliability, and utility. Let's see, what is the price? Just kind of refresh this. It's at $1.87 right now. Anyone that's been with Helium for an extended period of time knows that this network, it was up, it was down. And a lot of the times you just left the hotspot alone and it would fix itself. There were some times you just would have to go to the hotspot unplug it for like a minute or so, plug it back in like a, like a power cycle and it would, it would fix itself. But this was such a, a process because whenever you have these helium spot hotspots installed at multiple locations, friends and families, and you know, you're having to get on their roof and fix this hotspot. It was just very cumbersome and such a pain. First, a sincere thank you to all the Helium community builders and contributors who were so integral to this monumental effort during the last year. This upgrade isn't possible without such a motivated and dedicated community. Although we've had months of productive working groups, community calls, and MAs, we wanted to provide a final refresher on what to expect during today's transition period. When does the migration begin? The mob migration period starts today, April 18th at 9 a.m., uh, Pacific time and will conclude 24 hours later. What happens to the blockchain during this upgrade? During this period, the Helium blockchain will halt. The chain will be snapshotted. Existing HNT and mobile will be mapped to Solana and hotspots will be minted as NFTs. We'll post another announcement once the upgrade is complete and share updates on Discord and Twitter as available. And again, this is just something I'm watching because I have you know, 1,558.17 HNT. So I just want to see what happens after this migration. They're saying that the price and value and everything will be the same, but we will see. What happens if I lose my hotspot connectivity during migration? Your hotspot and LoRaWAN devices will continue to operate throughout the migration window. Actual transactions will be possible and viewable again on the app once the migration is complete. Now, again, for those of us that's been with Helium for a while, once your Helium hotspot went down and you waited for what you felt like was a reasonable time for the hotspot to come back up, if it didn't, you needed to go to that location and figure out what's going on. Was... Does it just simply need a power cycle? Is there some sort of uh, antenna problem? But it got to be an issue during certain times over the past year in which I would have to go to someone's house and try to figure out what's going on and sometimes take it down and replace parts on the inside. So it's nice when you can uh, hook up some sort of smart switch, which is what I did, a smart plug, and that way I can 
turn them off and on. And if that doesn't fix it, then go out to the location and see what I need to do. Okay, what changes can I expect with my HNT after the migration? The current native token, HNT, will no longer be mined by Lorawan hotspots, which will instead mine IoT, which serves as both the incentive and governance token of the Helium IoT network. HNT will remain as the exclusive token to use the network. IoT tokens can be redeemed for HNT in the wallet app. Now, again, I want to know what this looks like. Is there that is there a fee for the conversion? If there is a fee, what, what does that fee look like? Uh, supposedly, this is supposed to increase uh, transactions on the network. It's supposed to, I guess, increase profits. If you are having to constantly exchange your IoT tokens for HNT, you're constantly, constantly paying extra fees to get something that you were getting for no cost before, it's just adding an extra fee on top of what you were already doing. I don't know. We'll see how this all plays out. So what happens to my hotspot? Your hotspot and previously mined HNT rewards will still belong to you. The major change will be for those using hotspots on the Helium IoT network. For those providing coverage and data, will earn IoT tokens instead of HNT. Now mine, I've got 23 and those are you know, mainly the, the OG helium hotspots. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what changes, uh, and rewards I get after this migration. Hotspots will each be represented by an NFT on Solana, creating almost 1 million new Solana NFTs. HNT will be the primary to token for those who want to use the network and onboard devices to it. But those running hotspots on LoRaWAN IOT tokens will be mined instead, which can be redeemed for HNT. What will happen with my HNT balance? Your HNT balance will migrate to the Solana blockchain. All Helium tokens, HNT, IOT, and mobile will become Solana native tokens or SPLs. After the migration, SPL is the token standard for the Solana network tokens, analogous to ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum network. And this is what leads me to believe that we're looking at a lot more fees for getting our HNT. So later on in this article, because I've already read this article, um, I'm hoping that exchanges pick up to like crypto.com, pick up to receive an exchange IOT on their exchange instead of having to convert to from IOT to HNT get that fee and then send that HNT from our Helium wallet to the crypto.com wallet. There's a fee and then selling another fee. So it's like fees on top of fees. Okay. You have the exact same balance. There'll be no change. Will I be able to sell Helium tokens directly in exchanges? Exchanges currently supporting HNT will continue to support post migration. Qcoin, OKX, Crypto.com, that's the one that I use. Uh, Gate.io and Bybit have all made public announcements to confirm HNT support. The same exchanges may elect to support the SubDAO, Helium tokens, mobile, and IoT. Listings are business decisions made by individual exchanges. The Helium Foundation only provides technical support and outside providers. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Crypto.com or these other exchanges will elect to support those uh, IOT and mobile. Uh, they will support that, hopefully. That way, again, re reducing the, the fees on the, uh, whenever you're wanting to con con convert it to fiat. Multiple DeFi platforms in the Solana ecosystem have expressed an interest in supporting all Helium tokens post-migration and have engaged the foundation for technical support. We expect a formal announcement from those platforms soon, which will bro broadcast to the Helium community. What happens to my devices running on the network? Your devices will continue to work and transmit data during the 24-hour transition period. Because proof of coverage and data transfer have already migrated to Oracle's, there is no interruption to devices on the Helium network. Token balances will settle upon completion of the transition 
period. And that's, I like, I like that because this is already working in the back end and hopefully we're not looking at like a week or two week downtime for our miners. What's the best way to connect with someone about the specific question? Again, this is going to be just simply reaching out to Discord and there are other members there. Their Discord's amazing. You've got other people that you can reach out to to get your questions answered and then the devs are there as well. But again, this is uh, what I'm looking at. So I'm, I'm interest, interested to see how this looks when this is all done. You can go to the Helium status page and you can see right here that the Solana migration is uh, in progress. So I'll keep up with this. Um, you can also come and look at the, the latest blocks if you want on the, the Helium network. Let's see where we're at. 9.35 a.m., a couple of minutes ago, they had 20 transactions. And then let's see if anything's happening to the price. $1.87. Now, God, I remember, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you when I got into Helium. So what is this, November? Yep, I think it was right about... Somewhere in here, September of 2021 is when I got into Helium. And you can look at this price, this $20, $24. Now, these Helium miners, oh, here is what I'm talking about. I've got it up on um, Corn Market Cap. But this right about here, this is when I got into Helium, uh, you know, and above the $20 price. And then you had that huge surge in November up to $50.77 a coin. Wow. And it continued to be very profitable until this is when it just started to dip and drop, you know, March of 2022. But these, this was good money during this time. Now I did pay a little bit more for my miners that I have. And at first I had all of the OG outdoor Nebra hotspot miners. I had friends and, and family members that had the, the indoor ones. And it seemed that the indoor ones did not produce or work as great as the outdoor ones. I mean, it's got a better line of sight. It's outside. The antenna's outside. It just, to me, made sense to put this thing outside. But... This right here, again, when it started to drop off, especially when it got down here, when it dropped below 20, that's when I really stopped selling. And 15, let's just, let's just play with some, some math here. 15, 58.17. And let's say this bad boy gets back to its, at least its all-time high, $50.77. So Tom's... 50.77. That's not bad for hodling all of that for that time. You know, for, for miners that were costing me around somewhere between 600. There was one miner I paid $900 for. And I was able to, you know, recoup those costs during these, these high times, which is why I've just been, you know, hodling and holding on to all of my H and T until the next bull run. And hopefully again, we get to at least that $52 mark. Maybe it goes above, maybe it, which, which would just be insane. Um, and then sell and take some profits, right? That's what we're here to do. Okay. So this has just been a, a quick little video to kind of go over H and T helium, the network migration to Solana show where, I'm at right now, show, you know, how much h and I have, what's the status of the Helium network, the latest blocks, the price, what's going on right now with the price in case there's a huge spike. Um, and that's it. So I'll be doing more videos on my Helium and what's going on going forward so that we can, again, look back on this day and see what changes happened versus before the migration and how it's doing after the migration. So thanks for watching.